Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a little overview on the Sun Top Cargo Top. What I like about it, what I dislike about it. Personally, I do love the cosmetics about it. Uh, this is with the top all the way open. As you can see, we'll open the door. There's plenty of room. The top goes all the way back, or all the way forward, if you would. And you got this little cargo section in the back. However, this does bolt to the Jeep as well as some sides and there's some fitment to it. So fully taking the top off is not very easy, but you can roll it forward and roll it back. When I first got the top, I was thinking that I would fold this section down nice and easily. And unfortunately how the seat belts pass through kind of makes that difficult. Also, you can definitely see light through there at all times uh, just something to note it's kind of unfortunate design because of where the seat belts do mount on the jeep one thing i really do love about it is this cargo rack um, it supports plenty of weight and it's slotted so you can take things and you can put accessories there I'll show you what i do so you can take and slide hardware through there. I have a bracket that I'll use and up the holes. Just let it this out. And up the holes. Put the nuts on, I'll just sit in this for uh, reference. Then when I put my spare tire back here, it'll push up against there instead of pressing into the window. But you can add multiple points. There's rings on the sides, everything. So that way you can just run ratchet straps around everything. This is how my spare looks mounted. There's a few ratchet straps that are hard to see. It also is strong enough to hold my weight while I do things like attach ladders to my roof. Another thing is I will run a ratchet strap through the isofix to the D-ring. Uh, that way you can't fold the seats down from inside of the vehicle. And you can't really get to it from the top. And when the hatch is locked or the back door is locked, you have lockable storage. It's like a trunk. Now, bring on to one of the things I don't like. There is a seam there to get the top around there. And it leaks water into the Jeep. I just take a bunch of rags and shove them up in there and change them every once in a while. Those are actually still wet. Um, same thing on this side. You can see that seam and then where the water comes in. Uh, also, this seal on the back door doesn't really work the best. You can see how water and dirt and mud has gone in there. As you can see with the uh, tire not there, there's plenty of visibility out the back window. Now, there are a couple things I want to mention as far as it goes across. You kind of lose how it fits over there and over here. Oh. And then the back, like I said, you can see daylight through a couple of things. There's a piece of Velcro that holds this top down. However, in the winter, I have felt a few drafts from the back. So I wouldn't say it's 100% for people in cold weather. All right, let's go for a drive. Now there is a little bit of other noises because the Jeep was charging and it's kind of a warm day out. So it's running the fans a good bit. Oh. As you can hear, it's already flapping and I'm only doing 35 miles an hour. so many rain showers 
I love it because you can't you can't predict how it's, the weather's gonna be out here. That's uh, that pretty much sums up my uh, sun top. I do enjoy it. Like I said, there are some negative things. It's not for everyone. You get over a little bit of noise. You honestly get used to it. My Jeep is also very quiet. On the all terrains, there's no tire noise. And with it being a 4 by E, I'm right now I'm running an electric, so there's no gas engine to take up any of that noise. So I I think the top noise in other vehicles would be a little bit less noticeable. Um, however, it still is present. So thank you guys for checking this out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and share the channel. And let me know what you want me to talk about. If there's anything else you want me to point out on the 4x8.